we're gonna have a film festival um, as a part of World Week Day. And we're showing some of the films that we made um, over the past year. And we submitted them to a contest. And I love the contest because it's, you know, Goodness Reigns is promoting amateur filming. We're not working in the film industry. We're making films and just trying to do the best we can. And I think that people can, can love that and relate to it. You know, we're all struggling Catholics. And most preachers, they talk about how easy and how in love they are with their faith. And I'm, I'm having all these struggles. And then I hear someone, you know, my Don't age, the battle with fighting against you know, making it relevant, you making it funny and talking wins. about their own, you, you know, relating their own struggles indirectly even. And it makes the faith come alive. Father Miguel Pro was a martyr during the Mexican Revolution. And I had always uh, thought of his story as, you know, because his life is so exciting, I always thought he'd make a great movie. Well, Father, looks like your big day has finally arrived. Oh, it's the day of the day I'm going to see God. Yeah, I feel called that I'm supposed to get into the media and movie industry. And I really feel like this is kind of a prep for that. You know, this is the first time I've done anything that's actually been shown to, you know, a crowd. And, uh, and doing, you know, this interview right now, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I've never done before. I just feel like it's a prep for that. Because several people have come up to me and, you know, you know, s you know, said that, you know, they cried when they saw it. And the media can be very powerful. I mean, you, you can touch people that you've never even met before. I pulled down. Uh, a man named Shamshed was uh, having a lot of trouble in Pakistan, one of the like poorest countries in the world, but with some of the oldest uh, histories known to mankind. And he uh, wanted to enter the Guinness Reigns contest, but he didn't have a camera. I asked my English teacher if I could do a senior project. He said, I need you to write the script for this man in Pakistan who opened a free clinic. And it started as a script, but then it turned into narration, and then it turned into like my own things. Making a video for the church and faith, it was a lot of fun, it was different, and it was for somebody else, it wasn't for myself. It was to tell a story about a man who was willing to open up his doors and welcome anybody who was in need of help. Right now, because of the video, $3,000 has been donated to his archdiocese, and he will now have his own equipment, so he will do his own camera work for probably the next World Youth Day. Well, you don't have to die to keep the John Doe ideal. I, someone already died for that once. The first John Doe. And he's kept that ideal alive for nearly 2,000 years. It was he who kept it alive in them. I really enjoy that the contest was able to bring out the creative ingenuity in me. This, to be honest, was the film that I was most proud of because it, it was honest. It wasn't, it wasn't a script that I was writing for a screenwriting class. It was something that I was writing for God with the purpose of evangelizing. And that was the main purpose. Um, and that type of creativity just, you know, it flowed right out. And my wife, Laura, she's a director as well. And with us together, you know, it was, it, it really brought us as husband and wife. It was one of our first projects together, uh, you know, as a married couple. So the contest was not only bringing together, you know, our creative ingenuity. It was also bringing together a husband and wife to do something for God and to evangelize. changing mission trips right at home in our own diocese and they're all inspired by teachings of Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She lived it with her whole life and that's the difference and that's what we're called to do and that's what we're called to be as Catholics that this can't be just something that we say and it can't be that something that just consumes our life part of the time but it needs to define everything we do. In making the video it was done during a time when I was discerning uh, what was going to be next for me. And I knew that I was being called towards something else. And this young girl had developed such a passion and love of Mother Teresa from these mission trips that she was just excited to share it with others. We have our that video out online, and um, 
We've had like 3,000 views from all over the world. At my like global statistics like we're going crazy. I'm like, no way, numbers are going up. And I'm like, someone in Argentina watched this today. Like, who are they? What's their story? Like, I want to know about them. People all over the world like happen to click over to the Love Me and See Your Facebook and happen to click and watch our film. And that, that's like, amazing. yeah, that's ex that's exactly what we want. Like, we want to spread the good news. We want to spread the message that Christ has this great life to offer us. Donde hay multitud de jóvenes que aspiran a cosas más grandes. Just coming here to Spain was a gift from God. Maybe if you don't even win something, but you create a message that will help people hear. That's what really matters more than winning something. Four ways we can be light to the world and salt to the earth. Charity, joy, hope, and love for the church. You know, most people don't make the kind of money to just take a trip. I'm so thankful to, to Suzanne and everyone that you know, has anything to do with goodness reigns of being able to come to World Youth Day for free, to have it paid for, is such a blessing. I'd say not even do it for World Youth Day. Do it for yourself, do it for your parish, do it for God, and let that be the motivation. Media is very powerful. I mean, people will enjoy watching this and it will affect their lives. You got your mess, you got your mess. Here, raise, raise. You got your raise, you got your raise. What you think? What you think? Goodness, raise. Woo!